Power World's a survival game that keeps you invested thanks to a good pace of progression. But it's pretty common for that progression to come to a screaming halt when you're confronted with a resource that you've never seen before and you have no idea how to get. If you're trying to figure out how to build certain structures to level up your base, or you want to finally build your first firearm, this is the video for you. Here's how to find rare and progress halting resources in Pal World. Most of these various drops that we're about to highlight can be earned as rewards for catching or defeating specific pals, or pals of a specific type. Early on, the first hurdles you're likely to come across will be due to a lack of drops from certain types of pals. To upgrade your base to level 8, you'll need to build a hot spring, which requires you to have 10 pal fluids in your inventory, which is actually a lot, along with wood, stone and paldium fragments. The concept of pal fluids is strange and kind of concerning if you think about it, but moving past that, essentially this is the resource that you'll receive for catching or defeating water pals. Look for Fuwak, Pengullet, Tfant and Celeray as reliable early game PAL fluid sources. By the same token, Flame and Ice organs aren't handed out that frequently, but you'll receive these when you defeat Fire or Ice PALs respectively. So, seek more Fire PALs out if you need more Flame organs for your primitive furnace, or Ice PALs if you need more Ice organs for a cooler box. Leather is another relatively common resource to find once you know which pals to catch. You can check which pals drop which resources in your pal deck if you're unsure where to start, as well as habitat locations for each pal. You'll probably have seen ore deposits in the world as you explore, so it's not hard to say where you'll find ore, but by the time you start crafting with ingots and nails, you'll start to need a whole lot of it. If you're mining ore by hand, try to do so with a metal pickaxe to make mining more efficient. When you upgrade your PAL box to level 10, you can build more than one base at a time, so you may want to consider building your second base near an ore-rich location on the map to allow your PALs to start automatically mining ore for you. For more information on efficiently mining ore for your crafting needs, check out our ore mining guide video. Once your base reaches level 10 and you want to upgrade it further, you'll need to find three wheat seeds in order to construct a wheat plantation. These are an elusive material, but once you know where to look, it shouldn't take you too long to find enough for what you need. You can earn them by catching Bristler or Cinemoth to the north of the first Syndicate Tower, but the most approachable target will be Dinosum, who you would have likely seen strolling around near the default starting location. Whichever pal you decide to tackle, they're all decently reliable ways of finding wheat seeds. After you defeat your first Syndicate Tower boss, you can use your ancient technology points in the tech tree to unlock unique equipment. This equipment almost all requires the use of ancient civilization parts. You'll most reliably receive these parts as a reward for defeating or capturing boss pals, either out in the world or in dungeons. You can find our complete Ancient Civilization Parts guide video if you'd like to learn more details about this resource. With high quality pal oil, we've returned to searching for questionable liquid substances for nondescript purposes. High quality pal oil is essential for the creation of firearms, and it's a bit tricky to get. We would recommend catching or defeating Digtoys or Dumud out in the small desert biome in the center of the map while you're still below level 30. Just be sure to bring some cold and or warm weather gear depending on the time of day. If you want to gain a boatload of oil at once, you can receive a massive bounty of it if you capture or defeat Mamorests, the big green elephant pals you'll no doubt have seen when you started the game. The challenge with this method is that you unlock weapon blueprints well in advance of when you would be at a level to go toe to toe with Mamorests, so continue tackling the smaller creatures first when you start requiring the oil for your crafting needs. Once you're successfully crafting firearms, you'll need ammunition, which requires you to have gunpowder. 
You can make gunpowder yourself, but you'll need to find some sulfur to craft it. You'll often find sulfur in cave dungeons throughout the world as these yellowy rock deposits, or out in the landscape in desert biomes. The most reliable way to acquire vast quantities of the stuff though, is to head to the volcanic mountains to the west, where you'll find heaps of the yellow lumps right out in the open. It can be kind of heavy to carry a whole deposit's worth though, so make sure you've got plenty of carrying capacity if you're on a sulfur expedition. Bone is a resource that you'll need to keep handy for making cement, and thankfully this one's another case of being easy to find once you know where to look. Vixie and Rush Ore will both drop bone when captured or defeated, and these two can be found near and around the first Syndicate Tower. Once you reach level 35, you'll gain recipes that require you to make use of two new raw materials. The first resource you'll need is coal. Coal becomes increasingly important later in the game, where refined ingots and carbon fibre are the bread and butter of a lot of your crafting. And you'll need a whole lot of coal to keep your crafting moving along. Coal can be found sporadically in a few areas like the frost-bound mountains, but it is most reliably found in hot, dry areas like either of Palworld's two desert regions. You can also find coal in cave dungeons with a level in the mid-twenties, though this method is a bit more hit and miss. Coal looks like, well, a big lump of coal. And just like sulfur and ore, it's proper heavy, so keep your bags light to leave as much room for coal as you can. Next up, and finally, is pure quartz, which can be found in places that are very cold, and especially in the snowy mountains in the far north of the map. You'll need pure quartz to make circuit boards, which are vital for late game tech blueprints, though you probably won't need circuit boards in the same massive quantities as ore or coal. Pure quartz looks like a lump of ore, except it's got a shiny silver quality to it, instead of the usual bronze for ore deposits. Knowing how to get these particular materials should help to get you all the way into the end game of Power World as it exists today. But we expect to see many updates from the devs at Pocket Pair while they work on the game during its early access period. So be sure to check back in with our ever-evolving Power World Wiki for tips, guides, walkthroughs, and our fully interactive map. For all other things gaming, stick with IGN. <laughs>